Hi, and welcome to my guide that is split into three parts. The first part is how to reobtain a monkey's peak amulet. The second part is how to obtain a ninja, zombie, and gorilla grigri. And finally, for the third and the final part, is the actual recipe for disaster freeing King Awobogi quest guide. Let's start this quest by inspecting King Awobogi. Next, let's make our way to Apatol. The fastest way to get there will be to use an Apatol teleport from the Arceus spellbook. This will teleport you to the entrance of the Monkey Madness 1 tunnels. If you don't want to buy these teleports from the Grand Exchange, you can also make your way to the Grand Tree and travel with Diero to the hangar, then travel with Vader to Crash Island, and from Crash Island travel with Lumdo to Apatol. Here on the island, let's go northwest to the big bamboo gate to enter the settlement of Marim. If you still have the Karamjan Grigri from the Monkey Madness quest, equip it so you don't get attacked by any NPCs and you can also freely go through the big gate. If you do not have any Grigris, then when approaching the gate, you will have to use Protect from Missiles. You will be shot with a couple of arrows and be put in prison. Just like in Monkey Madness 1, escape this jail cell. Therefore, we'll need to wait for one of the two guards to switch shifts. When the guard moves back north, then start picklocking the jail door. Then there's a 1 in 2 chance that the guard will either go back south, and if it does, you will need to quickly hide behind the corner, and if it does not, then you will need to follow him, but do not get too close, and then simply walk out of the prison. After escaping or arriving at the prison, it is time to get our monkey speak amulet back. If you still own one, then you can skip this part. Once we've escaped the prison, use protect from missiles and go up north. Then you can turn off your protect from missiles and keep running east to the temple. Use protect from missiles again and keep running south. South of the bank, keep running south until you hit a river. From the river, go west and then open the doorway into the storage area. In here, stay on the dark tiles and search the double stacked crate. Go a bit east and search the double stacked crate that is currently standing on a light tile. Maybe kill the spider and then search the double stacked crate for some monkey dentures. Then stay on the brown tiles and go stand in the southeastern corner. Search the most southeastern crate. Yes, and go downstairs. You will take quite a bit of damage and then make your way to the northwestern corner. Search the most northwestern boxes, the southern one in this corner, to find an amulet mold. Once we have the dentures and the mold, let's make our way to Ferox Enclave to restore our stats. And then we will need to make our way back to the dungeon of Apatol. I'm going to be using, once again, one Apatol Teleport. And if you don't have this, then you'll need to make your way to Diero in the Grand Tree. Once we're back in the Monkey Madness 1 tunnels, follow this dungeon until the very end to Zunak. Make sure that you also have brought your gold bar with you. You will need to deliver both the mold, dentures and the gold bar to Zunak. Keep using Protect from Lee to avoid taking damage from the zombie and the skeleton monkeys and ignore all the traps. Just keep running. If you do not have a stamina potion, then you will need to bring along at least three strange fruits. That is the bare minimum that you will need to get 
through this dungeon while continuing to run. Alright, these should be the final structures of this tunnel, and we'll see Zunak. It does not, so let's talk to him and say that you've lost your monkey amulet. Select yes, and he will start accepting the items, which are a gold bar, monkey dentures, and the mold. Next. Just wait a second, and it should spawn in your inventory. Next, let's make our way back to Ferox to restore our stats and make our way back into Apatol. And after we have escaped prison again, we will need to make our way to the big Eastern Monkey Temple. In there, we will need to head into the dungeon where we can make our Monkey Speak Amulet. Alright, once we have escaped prison again, let's make our way into the big eastern temple and head south to the ladder sign. Climb up the bamboo ladder, then go east, down the ladder, so you're standing next to the trap door. Make sure to turn on Protect Family and then climb down the trap door. Then use your monkey bar on the northern or the southern wall of flame to make a monkey speak amulet, but unstrung. Once we have this, let's use our ball of wool on it to make a monkey speak amulet. If we can stop getting attacked. Once we have this, let's make our way back upstairs and exit the temple. 
Once we've made the monkey speak amulet, let's make our way back north of the prison to meet up with the people that already had a monkey speak amulet. For the next part in this video is how to obtain a ninja, zombie and gorilla grigri. From the Apatol prison, let's make our way west into the next building, just like in Monkey Madness 1. If you still own the Karamja Grigri from Monkey Madness 1, equip the Grigri, make your way into the town and go to the magic store. Trade the shop owner of the magic store and buy three monkey talismans. If you've lost your Karamja Grigri, then you will need to reobtain monkey talismans from the monkey child, while the aunt is not near or inside of the garden, by equipping the monkey speak amulet and talk to the monkey child, by selecting option 2 and then 1. Sweet! Can I borrow it? Yeah, I promise. Once he has given his new toy to you, talk to him again and select the second option that you've lost his toy again. And it will start crying. What we'll now need to do is wait for the aunt to do a full loop, passing the monkey child again, so it will receive yet another monkey talisman. Then we'll need to simply talk to the monkey child again, select option 2 and 1 to once again obtain another talisman. Then make sure to talk to the child again, select option 2 that you've lost it, to make it start crying. Then you'll need to simply wait for the aunt to do one more loop, and once the aunt has left the garden, talk to the child to obtain your third monkey talisman. If you still had your Karamja Grigri from Monkey Madness 1, then you can skip all of this and simply buy the talismans from the magic store. Alright, she left. Monkey child, give me one more talisman, please. Yeah, I promise then talk to it again, that you've lost it again, to maybe future-proof yourself. Once we have our third monkey talisman, from here, let's head north and back to the prison. Let's go to the prison and then go south, but not too far else you'll be caught by some NPCs. Turn on protect from range and kill one monkey archer that is standing on a pillar. Do not let the comment 149 monkeys touch you, else you'll be put back in prison. Once you've defeated it, pick up the small monkey ninja bones, and then let's head back north to the prison. North of the prison, head east, back into the temple. Next, let's defeat a gorilla guard. Let's recharge our prayer points and go stand next to the sacrificial pyre. This will be used as our safe spot. What you can do is simply defeat it using melee, but if you do so, then this fight could take a while, as the monkey guards will be able to heal themselves constantly. If you do not want them to heal themselves, what you can do is simply use a long distance weapon, such as magic, ranged or a halberd. Once you've defeated a monkey guard, let's pick up the gorilla bones, recharge our prayer again. Oops, that's the wrong one. Yep. And let's head south. Let's go south to the southern corridor and climb up the ladder. Next, go east and climb down that ladder. To go standing next to the doorway so we'll able to go open the trap door and go to the dungeon. In here, let's defeat one monkey zombie. And that is going to be the final bone that we will need. Once we have Ninja, Gorilla and Zombie Bones, what we'll now need to do is make our way back to the Apatol dungeon south of the island. 
So either use an apetal teleport or go back upstairs and try to run around using your Karamja Grigri. Or if you don't have that Karamja Grigri, then I suggest you to teleport to the ground tree and travel with Dairo again. Let's go back into the monkey tunnels and make our way back to Zunok using at least three strange fruit or maybe one stamina potion dose to make a way back to Zunok to obtain the Ninja, Zombie and Gorilla Grigri so that we finally have all the requirements for the recipe for disaster freeing a Wawogi. All right, when we've made our way back to Zunak, let's talk to him and say that can you make a new talisman by selecting option 2 and then 1, yes, and you will be able to hand over the ingredients, which is right click and use a talisman on him, then right click and use any of the bones on him, then simply click to continue and wait a second to obtain your first Gree Gree. Then talk to Zunok again, select option 2 and 1 to make another talisman and once again right click talisman Zunok and right click bones on Zunok, spacebar, wait a second and then talk to him again, select option 2 1 for the final time. And that is it, let's make a way back to Ferox to restore our stats and start our actual recipe for disaster freeing a Wawogi. Maybe go to the bank and make sure that you have your pestle and mortar, knife, rope, at least 12 coins, a monkey speak amulet, as well as a ninja, zombie, and Gorilla Gree Gree. For the recommendations would be to have some way to do clothing, one stamina potion, as well as a weapon to kill multiple combat 84s that are poisonous, so maybe also bring along some food and an antidote, and also having about 7 empty inventory slots would be very helpful. For the teleports, I'm going to be bringing along 2 more teleports to Apetal, 
one teleport to fairing code CLR. I'm going to be using the fairing near the Ardoi Monastery. And one teleport to Lumbridge. I am going to be reading some runes. That is going to be quicker than using the home teleport. That is it. Right? Let's make our way back to Apetal. Flying with Diero, Wader, and Lumdo, or simply using the Apetal teleport. Let's equip a Grigri. I do not suggest you to hold the zombie Grigri, as you will not be able to run. Just use the Gorilla or the Ninja Grigri, and let's make our way to Awogi, who's located in the building south of the Big Monkey Temple. So basically, on the other side of the island. Cool, southeast of the bank, south of the temple. Let's talk to the southern guard, elder guard, and he will give us access into the throne room. Let's talk to Awawagi to ask him what his favorite dish is, but that is sensitive information. After the conversation is over, talk to the southern elder guard again to exit this room. And let's make our way west. West of the bank, west of the temple, there will find a food store. Let's trade solo hip and buy some monkey nuts for three coins and one banana for two coins. Once we have this, let's make our way east into the temple. Inside, in the northwestern corner, let's talk to either Mizaru, Kikazaru, or Iwazaru, and select option 3. What is the favorite dish of King Awawagi? Next, we will need to bring them two items. Simply use the monkey nuts on any of them, and it will say that the monkey nuts are no good. They will need to be cheeky nuts. After this conversation is over, right click on the banana and use it on any of the three monkeys. And it will also say that a regular banana is no good and they will need a red one. Once the conversation is over, let's exit the temple and run straight, straight west until you hit the beach of Apetal. On our way to the beach or the coast, we may drop or eat the monkey nuts as well as a banana. On the western coast of Apetal, we'll find the red banana tree, which is already going to be ingredient one out of three that we will need. Let's first hold a Gorilla Grigri, then use a rope on the banana tree, and you will obtain one red banana. Let's use our knife on it to slice it up, and then use a rope on the tree again to grab some more if you happen to burn your first attempt. I'd like to obtain three sliced red bananas. Hopefully I will not burn all three of them. Once we have at least one sliced red banana, let's make our way to Crash Island. You can do so by simply teleporting to the Apetal dungeon from the Arceus spellbook, or simply go through the gate and run to the southeastern part of this island. Let's unequip the Grigri and right-click on Lumdo to travel to Crash Island. Once on Crash Island, let's head east to the dungeon sign. Let's climb down and use Protect from Melee. 
In a dungeon there are combat 84 snakes. Next, if you do not have protect from melee, then I suggest you to stand in any corner of this dungeon to avoid getting attacked by multiple giant snakes at once. But beware if you have protect from melee on or not, make sure that you stand at least one tile away from any wall in this dungeon, else you will get constantly get hit and poisoned by wall snakes. Alright, let's defeat at least one giant snake for the second out of three ingredients, a snake corpse. Though I'm going to be gathering three snake corpses as I think I'm going to be burning one of them. Once you have at least one snake corpse, let's make our way to the fairing code CLR. If you do not have access to fairings, then you will need to make your way back to Apatol and make your way to the agility course located just south of the town. Once we've made our way to the fairing of Apatol, by either fairing or by going around to the town and using the regular entrance by crossing a stepping stone, climbing a tree and using the monkey bars. Here, let's first make sure to pick up our pet, then hold our ninja Grigri at southeast and swing the rope. Hopefully this will not fail. If you do, then you need to once again jump the stepping stone and do the course over again to try again. Next, enter the hole. Then enter the hole between the bamboo walls to get to the cheeky nuts bush. Pick one nut and then grind it using your pestle and mortar. And then use a snake corpse on any other ingredient to make one raw stuffed snake. Now I've brought three snake corpses so I'm going to be crushing two more nuts and stuffing two more snakes. Once we have our raw stuffed snake. Let's climb up the rope again and then click on a tree, the tropical tree just up north, to do the final obstacle of this agility course. This will grant us 200 agility experience and also pretty close to where we'll need to be to complete this quest. Let's go back northeast into the temple as we'll need to bake this Rostaf snake in a dungeon beneath the temple. Let's use our minimap and go back to the southern ladder to go upstairs, then make our way east to climb back down so we're able to open and climb down the trapdoor into the dungeon of this temple. Next, go a bit east and you'll see a door sign on your minimap. Enter the exit. And then equip our zombie Gree Gree before stepping over the glowing hot rocks. And once we've passed it, we simply need to use our raw stuff snake on a snake shaped rock, and hopefully, you will successfully cook it. If you do not, then use your other ones. Once you have at least one successfully cooked stuffed snake, Let's use home teleport or teleport straight back to Lumbridge to use this on K2 
King Awawagi to complete this mini quest. Make sure to right click and use it on Awawagi and congratulations you have freed King Awawagi. You are awarded with 1 quest point, 10,000 agility and cooking experience. You've unlocked the Marim Teleport as well increased access to the Colonel Manster chest. And finally, you've also completed a quest requirement for Monkey Madness 2. The Marim Teleport uses two Law Runes, Fire and Water Runes, and one Banana. And it will teleport you to upstairs the Monkey Temple in Ape Tall. Though, if you climb down, you'll get automatically attacked by the Monkey Guards. And to stop getting attacked by all the monkeys on Apatal, we'll first need to become a monkey friend. But therefore, we'll need to first complete the quest Monkey Madness 2. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.